my gosh, I'm so into myself. This skin looks so good in the viewfinder. <gasps> hey guys, it's Sue here. Welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, I am so excited for today's video because I'll be sharing my game changing base routine. I swear to you guys, this is going to change your base game forever. This is a base routine that's going to give you a really, really nice healthy glow. It's going to give you a bit of coverage. It's not going to get mucked up even if you have a mask on. And it's going to last more than 10 hours. The longest I've stayed with this base was 11 and it still look good. It still look clean. And I have been getting so many compliments left and right. People are like, what did you use? What did you apply in your face? So I'm so happy to share this routine and also I've experimented with a lot of different products as well to see if I can get the same base but so far this is the routine these are the products that have been working great I know you guys might be thinking but Sue ooh, that looks like it's gonna get really messy on the mask and I'll be honest it does transfer on the mask but for me what's really more important is that the mask doesn't mess up with what I have going on here so I hope you guys enjoy ah so excited the first step is to of course Exfoliate is very very important. I just think that just because it's so important not to over exfoliate I've been under exfoliating. And I think that's one of the reasons why my skin was always feeling dull um, It was makeup wasn't selling well So please make sure to exfoliate and I've exfoliated last night uh, I used the Paula's Choice 2% my current obsession and also I don't do this whole base makeup routine every single day I just do it maybe two to three times a week which makes it perfect because that aligns with my exfoliating schedule so whenever I have to do a base makeup or I want to do a base makeup I will use this the night before and it works perfect if you're in a hurry and you want a little bit of that quick chemical no sorry physical exfoliation I do recommend the Primera peeling facial mild I feel like this is gentle enough for sensitive skin to use. Yes, yes, yes. It's one of those lotion-y gel formulas where you massage it in and you get those lotion burgers, the dead skin cells. It's not actually dead skin cells. All right, I'm gonna start off using my good old ton of pads. Oh, P.S. As I was saying, my skin is glowy because I had the tide of a mist on. I had a little meeting in the morning before I filmed, so I just wanted to look glowy and presentable. Just wanna make sure in the morning that you have a clean slate, meaning no dusts, no leftover skincare from last night. So like on these days, I just like to wash my face with water and that's it. Guys, I just want to say my complexion looks so bright and I didn't even put on the lighting setting onto bright. Like, like even so right the next step is very very important especially if you have dry skin and you feel like nothing is cutting it for you in this harsh winter and that is to replenish the water and fat balance of your skin I've talked about this in my latest video if you have dry skin or if you have dehydrated skin it's really really helpful if you use products with more emollients or occlusives to kind of give you that see that you're replenishing the fat level of your skin or the oil level of your skin so here's what we're gonna do all right listen listen carefully first we're gonna fill up the hydration okay so here you want to I'm gonna use the Jinjong Song essence this is basically a serum that's very viscous and almost passes for a serum so I'm gonna do a layer a light layer of this another very very important tip is you want to go in with smaller amounts and you just want to make sure to do light layers light Thin layers. Once again, guys, don't go too crazy with the amount, okay? That was a mistake that I made. I think I used to pile on so much product at once, and that was just overwhelming. Too much for my skin. That's why I feel like it wasn't really absorbing it efficiently. And also, another very important tip is to make sure to absorb the ass out of your skin. So you really, really want to make sure to take the time to tap everything. So that's the reason why I don't do this every day. I don't have time in the morning. Like it legit takes me 15 minutes just to do the space step. So <laughs> moving on, continuing to fill up the hydration level or the water level of our skin. I'll be using the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dudre. It's so funny, like in my last recent, one of my latest, I don't know why I'm scratching my head like this, that's weird. I reviewed this and, and a lot of you guys said this was so hyped up and you guys didn't think it was worth it. And 
Here's my opinion. I think if you're just using this as a skincare serum as part of your skincare routine, this isn't something that I'd be raving about because there's so many other great serums out there. However, listen up. If you're looking for something that will work beneath your makeup and you're looking for something that's that does more than just hydrate in which I'm talking about priming I think this is such a star product I've been trying to find a do for this like a similar product and although they might hydrate my skin better all of these other products they peel under my makeup this one doesn't. And like Glow Recipe said, this is a hybrid of skincare and makeup primer, right? I think that's what they that's how they explained it. And that's exactly what it is. So we're gonna use a bit of this. I think a pump will do, maybe two pumps, somewhere in between. And it really does have that tacky gelish finish, I guess, like some primers do. Once again, you want to tap it and this is such an important step guys. Okay, so just to illustrate how important it is to build a really good foundation with skincare. If you go to one of those salons, like hair makeup salons that celebrities go to to get their makeup, it takes them an hour to get your makeup done. Like just the makeup face. And so they invest a lot of time in building that really perfect foundation. And that just shows you how important it is to really make sure to absorb everything in. Now that we've replenished the water level, it's time to replenish the fat level. And for this step, you do not, you wanna be very picky with what products you use or you'll get major lotion burgers. So here I have a recommendation sworn by so many makeup artists. Every makeup artist I've seen and experienced all use this. This is the Aventrix Seraph Nutri Fluid Lotion. I mentioned this in my last video as well, but this is basically a product with a bit more emollient, a bit of that fatty, oily content occlusive. And this is going to really help out balance that fat content for your skin. This is very important if you have dry skin or you have combo skin and you have dry patches. This is really going to help your makeup settle well. And because this is a lotion, it also has a bit of water content as well. So it's also going to hydrate your skin. <sighs> I'm gonna fast forward this. Next for the sunscreen. This is a very, very important tip as well. So you wanna use a sunscreen that feels very light, very airy, and doesn't have any consistency to it, if you know what I mean, like a viscous consistency. And that's because sunscreens can also give you major lotion burgers. And that's the reason why makeup artists don't like to use sunscreens. This is, was a very, very shocking fact. Ah! This is my current favorite sunscreen. This is the Innisfree True Hyaluron Essence Texture. What? Oh, right, sorry. Hyaluron Moist Sunscreen, SPF 50 plus, PA plus, blah, blah, blah. Feels so airy. So while the round lap felt like a lotion, this feels lighter than that. And it's awesome. Also, be really, really careful with the areas that you know you get lotion burgers. So of course, because we're spreading this product like this, you're bound to get lotion burgers around the edges of your skin because your main priority as you're soaking everything in is the center of your face. So you end up forgetting to work the borders around as well. Those are the areas that I really try to focus, give more attention to and just slap it in guys, slap it in. I get so many lotion burgers around here, so I make sure to really blend all the products in around the nose as well. Let's give it a check, shall we? Feel like you have excessive, just put it on the back of your hands. That's the end of the skincare, and here's my additional tip. I like to always, always give some time between my skincare and my makeup. So while, after I'm done with my whole skincare, I like to change my clothes, organize my bed, or get ready, pack my bags, etc. I think it's important to give some time for your skincare to settle in a bit before we head on. So I'm going to actually explain you what product I'm gonna use next while we wait for this to settle down. I will be using the It Cosmetics CC Cream. In their review, I did say, even though I do like the formula, this 
is not a CC cream by Korean standards. In Korea, CC creams are very, very shit to a point where it's like, what was the even what was the point of it even applying that on? This is this feels like a full foundation for me. So oh excuse you. But this has been my go-to base for this perfect flawless, long-lasting base that lasts throughout the whole day. And the reason why I love this so much is for me, this doesn't oxidize. As time goes by, my texture just becomes brighter and brighter and brighter. It's one of those base products that looks better as time goes by, like the Cheong Senmul Cushion or the Cheong Senmul Foundation. <laughs> so a little goes a long way with this. I don't even use a full pump. I do like three quarters of a pump and that's saying a lot because I have a bigger face, y'all know. And also, the reason why I do reach out for this one is because it's semi-matte and semi-glow. So it's not too glowy. This is an, also another very important factor and it is that you want to use a flat brush. It doesn't matter what brand, you just want to use a flat brush because this will help spread the product evenly across your face. It's very, very important. And also, where's my puff? And then I'm going to blend everything out with a puff. Excuse, it's a little dirty, excuse me. Um, this is the Cheong Sen Mul. Yes, I'm a big fan of Cheong Sen Mul. Okay, this one is a bit more sturdy. It feels more tense. And this is the puff that we're going to work in with today. So, like this. And I'm going to spread that all over the brush. And I'm going to evenly, let me zoom you guys in. Hello. Yeah, it's lovely. Oh, look at that glow. Mask is living our best life, like seriously. And you want to first apply it right on your cheeks like this in a line. Here, once again, turn it over like this. And that rest, you want to apply it on your forehead like this. And with the brush, you want you just want to gently like blend everything out like this. Can you guys see? I'm sorry, I'm gonna put the setting a lot darker so you guys can see how it is. What I'm going to do is blend everything out gently using the brush like this. Up here. Okay, I lied. I need more than three quarters. A P amount though, a P amount. And then I'm gonna cover up my chin. And sometimes guys, truth be told, even if I go through this extensive routine, I still get little tiny lotion burgers here and there, especially here and around my chin. But it's okay, just try to get rid of the bigger gunks with the tissue. And with the smaller ones, it's okay. I find that just using it with a puff gets rid of them anyway. So don't worry too much if you do happen to get lotion burgers. Sometimes, you try to do everything perfectly, it still doesn't work out. That's life, honey, that's life. You want to take a puff, you want to start pounding on your face, like seriously. So this is the reason why I recommend you guys, okay, I feel like the subtitles is gonna cover my mouth. This is the reason why you want to use a more sturdy puff because you want the puff to push in everything and make sure everything's settled. She perfect. She perfect. And the reason why I love this routine is because yes you can tell you've applied something on your face but it's not too artificial should i say like it's n it doesn't feel awkward where you're like um didn't you forget to put on your eye makeup so a lot of times this is how this is just how i'll leave the house i won't do eye makeup i'll just do a little base makeup just to really freshen up my look this is a workout which is good because i haven't been to the gym for a very long time also, I forgot to mention, guys, you don't have to use the same exact products, but I do want to mention, I've experimented with a lot of different products, and I feel like, so far, this has been working the best for me. Et voila! And that's it, guys. Let me just finish up the rest of my makeup, do a little brows, a little mascara, and I'll be back. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'm so excited to share this with you guys. I'm just going to edit right off and share it to the world. It's amazing, amazing. And also, I'll be trying to find more dupes for these products because some of them can be pricey. If you guys are into that, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in my next. Ciao!